everyone. Thank you for uh, watching my channel, The Boutique. And um, for all those who are watching right now, um, I'm thanking everyone who subscribed. And if you haven't done so, please do. And I would appreciate it so much. So today we're going to be, or I'm going to be reviewing another Louis Vuitton bag. Sorry for that. Um, this bag is another soft after bag, um, incomparable to the mini uh, palm screen backpack and bum bag. Um, this particular bag also is rarely available online. So if it gets available, I would suggest you go ahead and purchase it. Um, if not, it's going to take a while again before it gets available. And even though you go in the stores, it's not really available as well unless you get lucky, you know, if they do have one on hand. Um, so anyhow, let's go ahead and um, open the box. And this particular bag, I bought it back in November 2018, so it's been almost a year now. And when I bought it, I believe it's like $20, $30 cheaper. So here you go, here's the receipt. I just cut it right there so I don't show my information, but here we go. It says 2,210 plus tax. So it came out to be 2,344 um, because our tax rate here is 9.5 um, in California. So anyway, here we go. Um, comes to the booklet with um, the lock and the keys, and the keys are a little different compared to the one in Speedy. Um, the LV, um, it's like this. I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay, and it came with two keys, um, like every other um, keys with the bags, or with other bags. So anyway, here you go. So. This bag is what they call a um, Porti Chapeau I think. I'm not sure if, if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, pardon me if I don't say it right, but anyhow, I know you guys know what type of this bag is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this bag, I know it has been reviewed by many, many of other um, YouTubers out there. But one thing that I'm looking for is I would wanted uh, for someone who reviews a bag um, where they can always uh, try to wear it on so then I know how big it looks when you wear it. Um, because like for me specifically, if I'm looking for a channel um, for a specific bag, sometimes they would make a lot of reviews on it and you know, the amount of items that you can put inside um, but then I'm waiting for them to try it on to see how it looks because like for me specifically I'm 5'2 in height so I'm not sure if it's something it's gonna be um, too big on my frame and it, it's gonna look too overwhelming so or it doesn't look flattering at all I'm sorry so anyway here you go I've uh, purchased a some more of the um, organizer with it so it's a custom made which I had it shaped you know like curved on the bottom and I don't want the um, the Alcantara lining to get dirty because um, this is not just a cheap bag you know it's over two thousand dollar bag so I always wanted to have organizers in on each of my bags because I wanted to make sure everything is clean and organized so anyhow there you go and the color that I chose, like a, like a creamy uh, type. And here you go. So I'm not sure if you can see that. It's really spacious inside. Um, I'd say it's a medium sized bag, it's not too small, which I know there's one available. And a lot of, it's really cute. It's a mini size one. But then a lot of um, complaints that I'm getting is that they can't really put a lot of stuff inside their phones would even fit in so with this one since it's not it's not a tote it's not a mini um you know mini bag it's an, an a medium small to medium size for me i think you you can still put a lot a lot of stuff in there like your daily essentials you can put your pressed powder your phone your keys your perf 
ATM, um, a wallet, you can put a lot of stuff in it. So, um, yeah. So with this one right here, it gives, um, uh, like I said, um, a protection inside. But the bottom of this bag is also structured. It, your, your bag's not going to look soggy on the bottom or it won't droop down. So, and it also comes with a luggage uh, tag in the front where you can actually make this a backpack. You should, um, you're going to be using this to insert the strap to make this look as a backpack. Because these certain bags, you can wear it three different ways. As a shoulder bag, crossbody, and believe it or not, yes, a backpack like I've mentioned. And the back of this bag also has a uh, compartment right here, a pocket, where I guess you can put your phone in um, vertically. And so yeah, I mean, pretty much I really like this bag. Um, it's really nice bag, like I said, and it's really hard to get in um, in any stores or online. So anyway, I'm going to show you how it looks when it's worn. So, there we go, as a shoulder bag. I'm sure you can see that. Crossbody, which is my favorite. Um, as much as possible, I wanted a bag that I can wear it as a crossbody because it's just a carefree one. If it's a shoulder, I have um, a problem of, or tendency uh, of, the strap, of the strap falling down on my shoulder. But if it's a crossbody, it's always secure and carefree. Like I don't even have to worry about it. And also you can wear this as a backpack. Um, like I said, um, I, I, I still have to uh, detach this one. And, um, but the easier way to put it is you attach it in here. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to include a photo of that one of how it looks. I'm not going to do it now, but um, it's, it's really cute. I'm telling you guys, it's really cute. I haven't done it yet, but when I did my research, I didn't know that you can wear this as a backpack. Um, and it's actually a good travel bag. So anyhow, um, let me know what you think about this bag. And like I said, it's really gorgeous, it's beautiful, and it's worth purchasing. It's one of my favorite bags. So if you have checked my mini uh, Palm Spring, which is very cute and uh, looks fashionable, and, uh, as, as far, and as well as the bum bag, this would be equally the same. Um, and um, one thing also that I forgot to mention before I end my video is that um, the leather vichetta, the vichetta is already pre-stained, uh, it's pre-treated, so you know like how when we buy our monogram bags, the vichetta ones, we uh, always want it light, you know, and then we're all also having a hard time how to have an even patina, so we have to avoid stains, watermarks and all of that, just to get or achieve that beautiful patina color. But for this one, since it's already pre-treated or pre-stained, um, you don't have to worry about that one because it's evenly beautiful. So again, thank you for watching my channel. Please do subscribe and I thank you so much. Um, I'm going to be reviewing more bags, including Chanel bags and, and also the hard to get one, which is the mini Coco Candle. Um, I've checked it anywhere else and it's still not available in stores and even Europe I heard so yeah just go ahead and watch out for those thank you so much again this is Lovatik bye for now